Okay, so we have another PlayStation Classic. Yes, the main menu. So So this is an anime-based fighting game. And that, you know, is adapted from one. Uh, the thing is, I don't know anything about the source here. Um, other than, uh, apparently it's just kind of, uh fucked up, but in a really stupid way, and you should never read and or watch it, uh, from what I've heard. Um, and also, it just, it has a fighting game for some reason. Um, this is the first time I've ever watched this intro, I've always just skipped it. But, uh, uh, I think, uh, the English title is Apocalypse Zero, whereas the original is, uh, Kakago no Susume. I probably said that like a complete ass. Is this a looping? Okay. Um. <laughs> so. The most I've known about this, because I, I took a quick look at the, the plot. Um. It feels like this footage is just looping over and over. I'm getting a little tired of that. Okay. So... Uh, apparently it's like, they're like Kamen Rider, but with, like, weird exoskeletons. Uh, the lady character is actually, uh, the main character's brother. funny thing is, uh, the narration, uh, can be done by any of the characters in this game. Now, this, um, this is actually the voice actor for Iori, uh, here. And yeah, it's got kind of a weird... Yeah, I, I don't. If it's not actually a lady, I don't know. Like, there is a simple explanation that could be done there, but I feel like the author just threw it in there to be weird. Which is always the way worse motivation for it. But anyway, yeah, I'm a, I'm a Pegasus. So this game is amazingly, uh, made. Um, you have, like, two basics, and you have two buttons that are special moves, and that is basically the game. I can teleport, and I can do this. Why did I enable two rounds of this? I don't even really need to, like, uh, just take everyone for a spin in this game. Because when I fight them once, you'll see everything that they do. Except for that, I haven't actually seen that from her yet. Oh, was that now? Okay. Also, it's got this weird thing where uh, you'll see their true form in the, uh, post-match things, which... I understand that for the characters in armor, but... Um... Also, this guy is voiced by, uh, Buggy the Clown slash Iggy slash... a lot of characters. But the thing is, he has this stage and music. So it's just kind of this weird... Disconnect. <laughs> also, I try to look up info for this character because uh, I have a lot of questions and there's like no info on him. I couldn't even find pictures for him, really. <laughs> so I'm guessing 
than the acceptable things that they could put in a game like this. Um, there's very far and few in between. The few panels that I've seen coming from this thing. Uh, would not really, uh, fly without an AO rating, I imagine. Maybe it would, I don't know. But either way. Uh, the weird thing is that the company who developed this is known for making mostly kids' games. So God only knows what happened here. I don't even think the series is that popular, so I don't even know why it... I mean, I got nothing. <laughs> okay, so this is Iori's, uh, voice. He voices Bolt. It's, um, kinda like that. Except a lot dumber. There's just one panel. Um, there's one character. Um, sorry, I made a pop turn. No. Um, oh god, he fired a sprite at me. There's this one villain in the series, apparently, that is this gigantic lady who isn't wearing a top and wears... The only thing that she wears on the top is, um, the face of whoever she killed last. So it's one of those series. And as you can imagine, that would be probably pretty hard to put, you know, make a character in this game without, uh, you know, affecting the rating drastically. So, you know, it's one of those things. So thankfully, I'm just playing the game instead of, uh, you know, uh, experiencing anything from that se series. The the comparisons to Dora Hedoro are kind of uh, accurate, uh, which is funny because I didn't really think of it. That, uh, Faces on his boobs, but I see what you're getting at here. And yeah, there's like an anime, uh, or an OVA, uh, produced of it, and, uh, basically the general consensus is for several reasons do not watch it. And I'm just gonna take that advice. time you have to wait till you can get off again. Uh, this guy seems to have substance to him, which is, uh, certainly something that almost nobody in this game has, in that he has a counter, which is the most technically impressive thing here. Uh, 
It's like if you line that up right, which is near impossible because of this game, um, you can actually kind of juggle with that a lot. At least I thought you could. God, just both of the characters flip out when they get hit by that. sure what entirely the deal is with these other characters being like other people every time. So this is um This is who what I just kind of assumed the trans guy character is. This is that you can't tell who he is because uh this weird ass uh mech suits that are apparently made from the skeletons of other warriors or some shit like that. I don't know. I picked up a few bits from when I was reading the Wikipedia article, but a lot of it was uh, lost on me. Also, I think this may be the final boss. <laughs> with the suit, he just kind of looks like uh, a really weird version of Kagari from uh, Chaos Code. I, I think it's the hair. I'm just gonna keep doing this until I... Oh, I put it on infinite time, too. That was really good planning on my part. Tell he's the final boss because he's actually blocking. But <laughs> how 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 are It's one of those names where I can't help but just put like more mods at the end. If they ever made a Mugen edit, be like hurrah, 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 hurrah. There was a mutant character that already did something like that, but... Why does the slap do so much? Like, that slap just took away, like, an entire health bar. representation of this series, I imagine, is, uh, through a fan-made doujin game or whatever. Cause they were used to making fucked up shit anyway. Get ready. Fight. So I like how this character is... I like how this character <laughs> is, uh, becoming a problem purely because he has a slap that does, like, 120 damage. Uh, get up. This very much seems like a launch title the more I look at it. I have to look at see what it, what year this is. Ah!
I believe. Get ready. He just kind of has Armor King's palette. <laughs> this game. <laughs> it's really all you need to know. I can't actually skip this, so I guess we'll just enjoy the artwork together. Like, it's funny because, as far as I can tell, the ending amounts to a picture, uh, depending on, you know, the character you want with. But everyone else's picture just gets shown in the credits anyway, so it just kind of defeats the point. It's like really important that you see the colored version of it. And also that's apparently Bolt in uh, this human form. I... <laughs> Just how much I know about Mega Man, I struggle to remember the guy's name. <laughs> go over the special thanks section, it's almost over. Yeah, 
just completely restarts. I think we can actually watch the intro again. Yep. And this is not a launch title. Surprisingly. Okay, so we can have, uh... There's only 10 tracks in this game. Alright. Uh... I'm just gonna pick this guy, because I don't know what his deal is. series is kind of like that. It's, it's you know, this demonic, demented, post-apocalyptic thing, but then the game just does this. Also, these foots... What? How is that happening? <laughs> anyway, I enjoy how he has May's footstep noise. Keep in mind that this guy in the purple suit's the one that had that stage with all the skulls and everything, with people screaming as the music, so... <laughs> so that has a follow-up that barely works. <laughs> Cause it'll just miss like 90% of the time. Okay, there we go. Just gonna let Kira's dad take the stage for a second. No. It's, it's quite a portrait for him too. to hear Iori's voice on another character. Like, I'm so not used to it. <laughs> Get ready. I don't know what these projectiles are, but they kind of look like the stuff I see when I get a migraine aura. <laughs> Oh, he just does cartwheels, too. What, <laughs> <laughs> what a good game. <laughs> it's like characters will just... <laughs> oh my god, it totally is. Did that one just disappear, or was that just me? You can have more than one on the screen. Just naturally. That was a lot of blood <laughs> So there seem to be super moves. Just, you know... The hell if I know them. I don't know how they're doing them either, like, but, but, like... What actually indicates how they could do that. Yeah, it's like with the content of this game, it's like I'm stretching it to an hour at this point. It's like there's some kind of combination. Okay, 
this guy, this guy's kicking the shit out of me, apparently. Uh, I'm just gonna fling, uh, this at him until he dies. I seem to have more, but uh, whatever, uh, because it's definitely not the round, uh, even though this game's so weirdly programmed that I just initially thought it was. It's like the AI just kind of forgets there's projectiles on the screen. Yeah, I don't know. Um, probably have to look at some sites. How handsome he really is. I wouldn't really recommend uh, Googling this. <laughs> well, I mean, uh... <laughs> um, so, yeah, the, the English title for this is Apocalypse Zero. Uh, it just kind of sounds more like a band than it does uh, an anime series, but yeah, there you go. Get ready. Fight. I'm cheating though because I, I'm also the announcer. seems crazy good from the looks of it. <laughs> so there was just like this... <laughs> so this game, apparently, like, this was just an era of like, support for this series. 
たちで天国へお導きくださいわかった She just said on well he just said understood which、uh, is a great reaction to all of that Alright, um, also, I like how the stage of Sky is, uh, Jesus.、Uh, it just reminds me of a Mortal Kombat 3 backdrop. Because of how much that game abused the swirl effect. And then I lose health. I will say, though,、uh, it is kind of neat that everybody has, like, spoken, like, pre and post fight dialogue. Point, I can just kind of recognize who the voice is, <laughs> like anywhere. Get ready! Fight! Uh, I had, to, I had to look at the chat log because it's too long for the, <laughs> the screen to pick up. Sentence, uh, maybe I don't want to read it. Electrocuting his, his opponents with his tongue. Now, on paper, that sounds alright, but I'm sure they, they found a way to make it all weird and pervy. And also, like, gory shit, but.、Yeah. Why is this going so bad all of a sudden? That are essentially like common rider characters, but this is the series that they're in. It's just like. <laughs> it's just this weird disconnect. And also, you got this guy, but God only knows what his deal is. Yeah, I looked at the Japanese wiki just to see who the hell this guy was. That's actually the、um, Harara is the main villain, apparently. That's that's basically this game.、Uh, <laughs> I don't think I really need to show anymore. There's really not much to this aside from the weird super moves that I can't get to happen. But hey, on the bright side,、uh, That got the time slots back in track. So we're gonna take a look at.、Uh, what is this game called again? Mizugi Shigeru no Yokai Butoden. 
which is uh, apparently also based on a uh, manga series I am not familiar with in any way, shape, or form, but it looks way more wholesome than this. So, um... Yeah, uh... See you in just a second.